Now, our final guest today first came to our attention in 2002 when she uh, auditioned for pop stars The Rivals. In the last eight years, she's racked up no less than 19 top ten singles with one of Britain's biggest girl bands, Girls Aloud. In case you've forgotten, here's a reminder of her career to date. Now, this is my girl. She fibbed. And she did the right thing. I swear in the day still left, we will walk in fields of gold. You can tell the world, and it's just as we walk in fields of gold. Next member of the band, Nadine. <laughs> I can now tell everyone that they're going to be called Girls Aloud! Wow, some of that must it. feel like about a hundred years ago. It does, it really, really does. It's mad watching stuff. You kind of start off and you're like, oh no, and then it's like, Right, it's not too bad. <laughs> so when you started out and you were you were sort of sitting there on that show, um, did it turn out to be what you hoped and wanted it to be? It was totally different than what I imagined. I think when you you know you're at home or you're in school and you imagine oh, I want to be a singer and you think of you know the big long gowns and the sweeping camera motions and fireworks and then you don't think that in order to get to that place you have to do so much other stuff. Mm. Um, so it turned out to be totally different, but Did still it, good. Still good, but yeah. uh, but but not not what you'd expect. Now totally different than what I expected it would be. Mm. So right from I mean a beginning beginning of Girls Aloud, everybody was talking about solo careers and this that and the other. And I know it was something that you you did want to do, didn't you, at some point? Well, I I mean I from we were on I think we were on the band a week maybe two weeks, and I was back at home. We were number one. And there was some story saying that I was leaving. I was going solo, you know, after two weeks of being on the band. And I think from then on, that was a story that just kept coming up. I was always going mm. solo, and there was always, although none of it ever came from me. Mm. Um, but it's just, I mean, that was my fate. Is it? Is it? You think it's always going to be a risk when you when you put people together that, and they all have individual ideas of what they want to do. Mm -hmm. That that at some stage they are going to think, do you know, I want to do it. I want to do the things that I set out on my own to do originally. I think it's important for people, you know, anybody, whether you're put together in a group or, you know, you've been together friends for a long time, it's important to have that working relationship, I'm sure, you know, with yourselves yeah. too, mm -hmm. and then you have, you just have to kind of do what's right for everybody, yeah. think of everybody, but also make sure that you're happy with what you're doing. Well, and you, I mean, you really have taken control of this. I mean, you're on your own, you've, you've written it all, you've produced it, you've even recorded it in your own house, in your own bathroom. Yes, that was, uh, that was tracks. That's amazing, the stuff you can do. In your bathroom? In my bathroom. <laughs> it's the Mac computer, mm -hmm. and I would do vocals and stuff that needed to be sent to London or to New York for things to be added on. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, oh, you know, they always say you sound good in the bathroom. But then it was a shame that I would kick the bin or somebody in the <laughs> next room and flush the chain or something. I'd be like, oh, no! <laughs> You've got to do it again. Yeah. Well, we've got, to, we've got a, a, a clip here, and I don't <laughs> think there's any sound of loose flushing or anything <laughs> like that on, on here. Lonely though. I mean, you're sort of so used to having all the girls around you. It must be very different. I mean, even sort of interviews sat here like this being just one voice. It's definitely different, and it takes some time getting used to. I started off doing radio stuff, and and you just forget. I've just been so used to someone else, you know, jumping on. They say something, and I'm mm. like. Oh yeah, that was me. Oh yeah, so. But when it comes to performing, we have a huge big band. There's 12, 13 of us on the band. Um, so I've actually doubled up the numbers of yeah. people around me. So when you were company. in the studio as uh, with, with the girls, did you all go in together or did you go in individually? It's always individually. So 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 
performing in a studio on your own is nothing, nothing new. Nothing new. Is that a normal thing to do? Is that a normal way to That's do it? That's a normal way to do it. Again, one of those things I imagined, you know, when you heard a group and, and yeah. people would say, you know, that everybody stands around the one mic, but you can't do it like that. It will be all over the place. Mm. People breathe at different times and, you know, different tones. So it's always been a, a separate thing. Yeah. And, and, and is LA your base now? Is that where you are? I am between Ireland's home. Yeah. And then I have a home here and then my family are in LA yeah. and we have a, a bar restaurant over there. So what is going to happen with Girls Aloud now? Is this is this it? Because please don't tell me this. Uh, well, I'll <laughs> cry. Oh, no, I think I think everybody's just doing their own thing, just you know, taking the time. We done it for eight years and decided at some point we were gonna take a break mm. and this just happens. Do you see a end. time when the break will come to an end and you'll get together and do something or I mean if thinking ahead if I could use psychically, I would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's difficult to 2020 vision it's for difficult, the future, isn't it? It's yeah. difficult because it's not just me, it's not just my decision. It's everybody yeah. has to come together. And, mm. and there's such a huge team behind Gears Aloud. Mm. If you remember when we travelled anywhere, it was like, you know, 20 people. This scene of the whole place was filled. Yeah. And you've all the record people and, and the <coughs> I mean, Brian Higgins done a lot of the writing for Gears Aloud. So. Well, you've got to be very careful where you live next, because if you go anywhere other than L.A., we'll never keep up with the accent. Uh. There's a little bit of Ireland, a little bit of L.A. in there as well, so don't go anywhere else, otherwise we'll never <laughs> figure out what Why? it is. Why? Why not? <laughs> Why? Congratulations on the engagement. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Congratulations lovely. to you, Thank too. You my much. God, the baby machine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, album out Monday, single out as well, insatiable, and thank you very thank much you indeed. Very much.